welcome to the vlog. Today's New Year's Day and it's been a beautiful morning. Jackie spoiled me because today's my birthday and now we're all set for the new year ahead. I hope you are. Um, hopefully further in the video you'll see some seals and some of our trip to Norfolk for my birthday which is really Jackie and I having a last minute relax before the year starts up back to work and every busy 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 thing that our lives entail thanks for subscribing thanks for watching come and join me in 2023 just cleaning out the blue beauties they do like to use litter trays and pile any poo up inside their hide boxes which is annoying and kind of just move one out of the way and it helps its wordy self. Ridiculous creatures. So we're concluding a couple of nights away in Norfolk. Norfolk's our kind of getaway place, a little bit of chill out when we just need to chill out when it's busy and it's actually about to get really busy and kick off the New Year's workload. So a nice little relax. This is concluded now, but just check out some of the places we've been. Come and see the seals with us. Norfolk in the winter months is actually a lovely place to get away of course there's no dragonflies butterflies birds and above all else very much unlikely to see adders but it's still a really fantastic place to walk in the wildlife let the wind blow your cobwebs away enjoy
Did you just stay there and live in your pond? <laughs> Don't know if that's stupid or just antisocial, but the sea's up there and over there. You silly sausage. What are you doing down there? Oh no, you're very cute. <laughs> right up there. Right up there. How's it going to go up there? How stupid. I think somebody needs to throw it back. going on? <laughs> Look at Jackie go. Oh, he's not as friendly as he looks, is he? Look at him. But then, I guess, he's having to put up with a lot because the seal view area where we went to is actually blocked off because there's so many seals, as you saw on the board, uh, nesting where people would walk. So it's all cut off. This blue line is also to stop anyone going over the dunes because it's full of breeding seals but it's, it's amazing to think they've clambered up a big hill clambered down the other side i can only imagine their mums are feeding them because let's face it he was a porker so, never seen that here before possibly population pressure stupidity or thinking outside the box who knows So back from a couple of nights away and now it's time to get back at it and really first thing to check on is all the, the reptiles and snakes they're fine for a couple of days obviously they were cleaned out fresh water some before we left but now it's time to sort them out because things soon go to pot if you're not keeping a close eye i'll swap you around so we've got shed skins here and there. There was a lot of food put in here with the stick insects, but you can see not much left. So that all needs replenishing. And just general, general stuff to do. Not too bad, not too bad. We've got black headed python going into shed in there. We've got the female there, you can see the water bowl. It's not dirty, but it's not fresh now. I like to give them fresh water every couple of days. Another shed skin here in the mangrove snake enclosure. A little bit of poo that needs cleaning out. All these things, another one over here. Black tail Kribo shed. These are okay, the forces. Don't eat much at this time of year, but their feeding response will soon kick in. We can see there's more poo over there. So colubrid snakes, high metabolism, pretty messy things. Time to crack on and get these guys spick and span again. And that's how I like them to be.
so it's okay filling up the fresh water uh, every couple of days but of course normally if you see a poo in there that comes straight out so definitely time to do that bit of mess down here some snakes love to poo in their water bowl and it's a habit of theirs and certainly if you're going away for a few days it makes sense to feed your snakes certainly in good time that they've digested their food and there's nothing in their system and they're not going to contaminate their water if you have to leave them with it or just with someone checking for you it's that baron's racer he's cute little black rat snake there <laughs> Toes in it. Oh, it's only safe to put it. <laughs> I wasn't like that. He's running mummy's toes over now because she's being miserable. That's how she talks to Dolly as well. I'm talking to Dolly like that. Oh. So, as mentioned, it's time to get a safe highway across here into a box that we can see them in and put morsels of food in to get them really active but they can't fall off of. Same along there, I'm gonna have to just cage that in just a little bit uh, because they're gormless basically. And then these guys here, which are absolutely fun to watch. <laughs> and then here, this was a temporary measure to give us a porch area. This is gonna be acrylic, so it doesn't distract from the, from the eye as you look through once we reopen in the spring. So crack on in here. First thing to do is the weld mesh that's gonna be used to make the tunnel. These painting black so you can see through it, and then I can crack on and fit it hopefully tomorrow. Crazy critters. So busy afternoon, getting there with a the polecat enclosure, but tomorrow is gonna to be fitting it all out and putting it together, but it's kind of, I've made the Meccano set, just letting the paint go off. And the other thing I've been measuring up for is the outdoor reptile enclosures that really for two summers now, I've wanted to get here for part of our open weekends. Lots of stuff in my head. I finally think I've got the plan in my head of the materials I'm gonna use and how I'm gonna approach it. I've been measuring up today, but that's all for another vlog. Guys, thanks for bearing with. Thanks for watching the vlogs. Don't forget, if you like the fulgury, check out the playlist. If you like your snakes and reptiles, check out the playlist. In the meantime, if you haven't already, click subscribe, drop me a comment. Either of those things massively, massively helps boost the channel. It gives me the confidence to carry on. And of course, comments are great. It's, it's interactive. Uh, I learn stuff from you guys, and hopefully some of you are learning a little bit from Bob's from what we do here. But for now, see you in the next one. Thank you.